welcome to my channel dr munshi nasir skate on how are you my dear learners in this video we are going to talk about the best free ai tool for your systematic literature review and data extraction for meta analysis this is a fantastic tool and without wasting any time let's get started to talk about this tool my dear learners the tool name is google notebook lm this is by far at this moment free best ai tool for systematic literature review and more importantly meta analysis data extraction all you have to do just click the google notebook lm and once you once you are redirecting to the lm notebook you will ask to log in your google gmail account so i already have my gmail account i log in using my gmail account once you are log in into the gmail account you will see that there are some example notebooks are already given okay now for my cases i am going to up use this new notebook and immediately you can see that sources let notebook lm basis is response of the information that matters most to you it can use different pdf files and different other documents meeting transcripts scale documents research note course reading marketing plans all of those things you can do using notebook lm for free now in this case i am using a research title trend of central bank's policy rates and its impact on inflation containment recent scenario and my research objective is over here do changes in central bank policy rates have the same impact on inflation in the economies of every country if that is the research question i would like to explore and do a review and find out the connection between the papers that i have downloaded for my systematic literature review purposes as you know in systematic literature review purpose we have downloaded the papers based on inclusion and exclusion criteria and i already have downloaded paper which is relation with the repo rate and inflation rate okay so these are my papers now what i can do i will upload all this paper for google lm let me share this process so i have all the paper just copy everything and it will upload remember my dear learners the maximum limit for uploading papers is 50 papers and in my opinion that will be a fantastic way of doing things because normally in other softwares you will not get so many options to upload your research article but in this case 50 papers in my opinion more than enough and you can use several notebook to upload your articles if you have more than 60 or 50 papers okay now as you can see i already uploaded all my papers as it says the notebook reached the limit yes i know the limit is already crossed but anyway i already have the relevant papers so each paper will give a give me summary and also suggestive questions like what is the relationship between inflation interest rates and the money market in bangladesh how does bangladesh bank use monetary policy to influence economic growth and price stability if these are my research question or these are my research problem then i can easily ask question which is suggested by google lm but i would like to discuss something else i would like to talk about write me a complete literature review connected with these papers with list of references using AP, APA, API style and explain in details. Okay, that's my prompt and once I enter the prompt, the Google notebook lm will write me a complete literature review connected with these papers with a list of references using api style and explain in detail you can see the work is going on all these articles that takes months of time to connection between article to article and finding out the key arguments positive or negative argument it can be done within few minutes time at the same time, you can find out more other literature review art, literature review based AI like SciSpace, Jenny, Emo. These are all paid. They do not 
give you such kind of luxury to use such many so many papers to be connected and find out the key information from those articles with the reference list completely for free and that in my opinion is the best way to start your literature review especially the systematic literature review part now you can see the machine has done the work so if you look at the papers you can see detailed literature review, monetary policy, economic growth, price stability in Bangladesh. So you can see the key aspect, frequently export impact of monetary policy inflation and its referencings are given over here and then the impact. All these things are given nicely with the connection with the, all the articles that I have uploaded. And you can see the reference lists are also given for free. You can ask question like what the impact does repo rate have an inflation in India during the pandemic and post pandemic phase how does monetary policy so there will be a follow up question you can ask very easily on this particular prompt so this is how you can do a systematic literature review now one other thing that I would like to share with you that I am currently taking a course systematic review and meta analysis basic to advanced if you are interested to join me in my course feel free to join me and the course description everything is in the video description box you can join me there is another course statistical methodologies for research paper writing you can if you want to write a research article and you don't know what methodology you should apply in terms of quantitative and qualitative methodology this course is for you so you can join me now one other thing that this paper this LLM can do fantastically for meta analysis data extraction for instance Internet adoption, digital divided corruption, evidence from ECOWAS countries. So, main idea here that digital digital corruption, public service co corruption in the country. That is the idea of the research. And one of these papers from this particular research I have selected. Now, in this particular research, you can see that there are so many information. So, let's assume that I would like to know the mean of one single variable. As you know, in meta analysis, we need to find out the mean standard deviation, standard error, number of sample, number of events, right? Or correlation coefficient, odds ratio, all those effect size information we need to collect from each of these papers. Now, other AIs will help you, but they, you have to pay for that. But Google AI Notebook LM has this ability to find out and extract the data quickly from your article for free. So, as you can see here that there is a result like EPI and in this particular case the mean is 0 0.14. For instance, I would like to find out the EPI mean and as an example, I can say that this is my FX size. So, if I say I want to F find out the FX size value of the mean of EPI, let's assume. In that case, can the, can the Google LM find out it for me? Yes, they can. As you can see, I already uploaded the paper and I asked the E participation index EPI and as you can see here that the mean of the E participation index 15 ECOWAS countries is between 0 0.14 and that is what the research article says 0 0.14 so it extracts the data for you very easily once you upload the paper and ask question in the prop box next I would like to see another example let's find out another paper where it says about that e-government and petty corruption in public sector service delivery. So, let's assume that I would like to find out the coefficient values of different variables which has been used in this mo in this paper. So, there's a long EGDI, this is one of the variable and there are seven or eight models has been used. So, I want to find out each one of its coefficient variable, coefficient, coefficient, variable. So, in that case, you can see that I just asked that Find out the long EGTPI coefficient value for all models. Let's assume that long EGT, EGDI is my FX size. So, if I ask them to find out the FX size of this particular coefficient value or the variable value, then you can see the here are the e long EGDI coefficient values for all models given very nicely in this notebook LLM. So, once you upload any article, and ask the correct question whether it is research question based on your mean difference or odds ratio or correlation analysis whatever the effect size you have you ask that paper by paper and in this prompt every each of this paper the data of this 
information will be extracted from the article without screening through by yourself. This is a fantastic way to find out the data of meta-analysis at the same time systematic literature review, connection of the papers and creating the list of references without taking any particular help. So in my opinion, Google Notebook ALM is a revolutionary AI and the very important thing here is that it is still completely free. 50 papers you can ask any type of question for free, especially for meta-analysis data extraction, upload it, ask the right question based on your research question, you will get the answer very easily. So I hope this video is useful for you. I, I will see you in the next tutorial with more interesting research related information.